Hey folks, how you doing? Susie Meadows here. Hey, welcome, welcome. Sorry I'm late. I was, I had a conference down at Indy and you know, I can only get home so quick on the interstates. So, but thank you for being patient with me. But hey, uh, welcome. As you join me, let me know you're joining me. I am, um, I am a stamp, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in central Indiana. And I love paper crafting, especially with Stampin' Up! goodies. So, and today is a show and tell. It is going to be with this new celebration flyer. I have several goodies I want to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and turn you down, and we're just going to get started. So hang on. It's going to be, uh, I got to get the buttons all together, and we're going to do that really quick here. Hey, Terry. So glad you're joining me. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get you in the stand here. <laughs> I got home uh, about three minutes ago. Uh, okay, maybe a little bit longer. But anyway, hey, Maria, glad you guys are joining. Thank you very much. Like I said, I'm going to show you this, the celebration. And I'm going to have a helper. It looks like I have um, Mr. Beans. He's helping me for a little bit. But hop off, buddy. There you go. Cool. Okay, I want to show you this celebration flyer. It's good from January 5th to the 25th to the 28th, and I can open these up now, which is fun. So, and if you don't know what celebration is, it's a chance to earn some free goodies. You can order from this or the new catalog or the annual or clearance or anything. But I wanted to show you this here. So I wanted to show the uh, adorable owls. And now I don't have everything in this catalog, but I have a few, few the blah, 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 a few things. So, and on this one, this particular stamp set, it's uh, free with a purchase of $50. And here's a couple of my projects. I always like starting out small. Uh, this is like a little uh, three by three note card. And, um, and I uh, stamped the owl and did just a little bit of coloring. So, and then here I have a full size card and um, use some of the new, what is it? It's some of that new paper in the uh, catalog. It's the Country Gingham Designs. So, but here I just did a little bit of, I used the pencils this time. Just a little bit of coloring, not very much at all. So, oh, and you know, I wanna make sure I am, <laughs> I am broadcasting. So I'm gonna get over here and get my iPad going and make sure that we are on here. Yes, we are good. And it looks like we can see okay, which is excellent. Great. Okay, so here's a couple for the owls. We'll put them over here. And on the, this other page, thanks a bunch. Now, I don't know if you're a gardener, I am. And uh, so I enjoy these carrots. And I've got a couple projects here. And I was thinking, once again, I started out small. So I started out with this uh, three by three note card and there's envelopes that you can, um, these are great to put in on somebody's desk or put in a little package. But on here, I went with hay there and a couple heirloom um, uh, carrots, that burgundy color. You know, all carrots aren't all orange now. There's different colors, but so I went with that. And here's a large size one I went with that said, thanks a bunch. And to show you, um, you've got, it looks like spring. You've got a uh, thanks, and that can be the a uh, bunch. And that's what I did here. It's two different stamps. And then there's also everything is coming up carrots. <laughs> there's no one quite like you. Love you. Hey there, look at you. And I use that hey there here on this small one. So now I've got a couple others. And if you notice this pretty paper back here, this is the designer series paper. This is actually on back in the catalog and I'll show you that here. But let's go ahead and flip over to this next one, which is Dainty Flowers. It's 12 by 12 designer series paper. And the nice thing about that, well, let me show you a couple projects real quick. Now th these two are actually just panels that I cut out of the paper. This, um, this designer series paper, like I said, is 12 by 12. And like, here's a sheet. Let me find the sheet. This makes really quick and easy cards. 
These are the two I want to show you here. So here, this one, I just cut and I cut a panel. And that's how I got the front of this card right here. And just put a birthday sentiment fast, quick and easy. And then on this one, this other I wanted to show you is, look at this sheet. It already has all of these here. And so I use this for my card front. And then I punched out some vellum and did uh, birthday wishes from the birdhouse um, stamp set. So, and then use some of these new milky dots. But these, if you want to get some cards put together, these are the way to do it quick and easy. Because here's six. And then here's, you can do two others. You can cut these and put them up the side. So, so that was a fun one. And that's the Dainty Flowers. And these, like I said, these are the only two cards I did for this one, but those are also for $50. And then this next one I wanted to show you is A Day at the Farm. And this paper, there's also uh, stamps and dies that coordinate with it. But on this one, I also used it with my carrots. And here I used one of the designer series paper that had the veggies and I added some heirloom carrots and there's no one quite like you. So that was that one, put that here with the carrots. And then another one I did with that same paper is once again, I added some more carrots, a little bit different and then look at you. And then here, this, I actually stamped uh, carrots in Cajun and made a border on both sides of my designer series paper. So using the stamps. And this last one here is uh, pretty much just cardstock, except for this little tiny panel of the designer series paper, which is the back of this. And I got it here. Let me show you really quick. See, this is one side, and the other side is some cherry cobbler a seam. So, and then I just used um, a little bit of this one, which here's veggies, but I went on the other side and used the yellow stripe. So there's different designs in this. So, because at first I thought, you know, I'm a farm girl and uh, grew up on a hog farm. So, um, and had critters, and I actually work in agriculture now full time. So I like this paper, but some of it I wouldn't use as much, but I would use this cherry cobbler plaid. I would use definitely this green, this would be perfect. This here would be perfect if you do memory keeping because you could do some fun um, cards, um, pardon me, um, memory scrapbooking pages with this, I think. So, but so that's that one. I just wanted to show that to you and move my carrots out of the way. And that was this one here, Day at the Farm. I have not got the sending support yet. So I, I don't have that one. So, and I'm gonna look over here at Kamet, uh, comments. Uh, Terry and Marie, I thanks for uh, catching. And uh, um, <laughs> yes, um, Yes, there's definitely uh, things happening here. So, but uh, here is this next one, which is uh, the Favored Flowers Designer Series Paper. And when I looked at this first, I thought, you know, that's a little busy. I don't know if I would use it, but I have. In fact, let me show you what I did. I've got two cards to show you. Okay, thank you for helping me, Beans. <laughs> We're working on boundaries and this isn't a boundary just yet. So, but this is a card here. And what I did, I cut out the um, the pretty flower and just added some, uh, these are old olive and just added some stripes and birthday. And I love these uh, particular, that bling, which are the uh, glossy dots. So hang on, let me, let me, let me move beans. Thank you, bud. Okay. And this other one, once again, I just did some fussy cutting. Put, oops, you might want to see the sentiment. Um, I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. And that is from the, um, which one is that? Let me look at that really quick. That is a new stamp set. That is something fancy. This is my favorite. This is my go-to in the new catalog. I love these sentiments and I especially love these dies because they're like labels. So that's a fun one. So 
Okay, so let me show you that paper. We, um, and Marie and Terry, I don't know if, I think we got this pretty metallic paper that is Calypso Coral and uh, Soft Succulent. This goes perfect with this particular uh, paper. And yes, like I said, this looks busy. Uh, look at all these flowers. It's gorgeous, but it is busy. But on the other side is this mossy meadow, which is wonderful for a masculine card. And, um, and here, this is actually the one I did some fussy cutting on. And let's see what else is here. We'll flip this back here. Oh, now see, isn't that gorgeous? Pretty purples, and that's the back side. So you don't have to go with the floral. You don't have to go with side A. You can always go with side B and go with the um, uh, geomet um, geometric uh, designs. <laughs> and that's pretty with the black there. And ooh, look at that. So there's some really pretty things here. But that is also one of the $50 free things. So, and let me see, I think that's the only two cards I had with that. But, um, and then the one last, no, I've got two I want to show you yet. So if we flip this over, and this may be getting a little busy, maybe I need to scoot these over and then I'll bring them back in. So we'll scoot these over just a bit. Okay, put them in piles here. Next one I wanted to show, I don't have this one in the country. I don't have that one yet. And, uh, but I do have this, which is Beautifully Happy. And that is this one here. And pardon me. And that is free with a $100 purchase. But I really like this. It's photopolymer. So you can see through here, I've been playing to see what colors I want to go with for a particular flower. But this is two um, step stamping. So you do this first, you're, and then you will follow up and do the leaves and some of these others here. Makes it really pretty, but I like it for, for a very happy birthday, sending happy thoughts, for a feel better kind of day, and thank you, kindness matters. So this is a good stamp set. And with this one, I've got one I wanted to show you, which was this card. And um, uh, sweet sorbet, and I used it for a happy birthday card. And for me, I do best using my stamp apparatus when I'm doing two-step stamping because, in fact, I use three different colors. This was for a color challenge, and I did the buds up here in a darker color than I did the flowers and then the leaves. So, but that's beautifully happy is that one. And then the last one I wanted to show is a huge pack of paper, which is the Dandy Designs. And um, there are 48 sheets of paper, so it's huge. And it's fun, I like the designs in there. And um, see, look at this huge pack of paper. Huge, huge, huge. And for me, what helps is I do a punch or a circle or something. So I can look at one sheet and see all the designs that might be there. And that helps me when I'm designing. But what I wanted to show you on this one for Dandy Designs, which is a $100 purchase, I've got, I started out small. So once again, I started out with my three by three cards with a little bit of the paper. And this here is my go-to something fancy, uh, both the stamp and the die. And then here I went with thank you, another thank you, but a different font and use the double oval punch. And then we've got these new little dragonfly designs. Nope, they're not called designs. What are they? Trinkets. And it looks like there's 20 of them and it's nice. You can put those on a card or a project with a glue dot. And you know, we've got that punch that also go that has dragonfly punch that has small ones. And there I use the pearlized paper to make it have a little bit of glitter. Can you see that? Ah, yeah. And this works really good because I mean, I don't know if you mailed it, you would have to put some foam over it. But on a three by three, which like I said, is great for sitting on a desk of a coworker or putting in a package. So that was that one. 
And then I went to the regular size and I used this particular, uh, this is probably one of my favorite prints in that packet. And we have that, that medium daisy and that's what I used for that. So thank you, Beans. Yes, I know. He just doesn't get it. <laughs> he says, why don't you love on me? Because they, I, I haven't seen them all day. So of course they want their love and they're both staring at me. So, but, uh, but so this was a fun one for happy birthday. Go to greetings is the actual stamp set that did that. And the last card I'm going to show you is once again, that pretty paper, the dandy designs. But this once again is my go to something fancy. So, gang, this was all about show and tell. I just wanted to show you in case you had not seen very many projects with that, using the supplies, the free supplies you can get in celebration. I wanted to show you some, some things you could do. So, um, I've got some more uh, coming uh, Thursday, and uh, so I should be able to play with some more things, but... So if I put these sort of in piles, I don't know. I've got this and this, but this is all about the celebration and it's good for this month and next. And gang, you know, with supply chain issues, there is a chance things can run out. So if there's something you want, make sure you grab it um, because, you know, we may not be able to get it back. So, gang, if you got any questions, this is where you can get a hold of me, craftingwithsusie.stampinup.net. And um, this is my January host code. Those that spend over 50 bucks, I like, I like to give you a thank you goodies. So, using my host code, I can track that pretty easy. And that allows me to get some stampin' rewards where I can give you guys, uh, offer you some free things. My next class locally here in central Indiana is Thursday. So you need to let me know today by tonight if you're interested. So I, cause I'm gonna, um, in fact, after this, I'm gonna start putting some pack, class packets together. So gang, thanks so much for joining me. I apologize once again for being late, uh, but thank you for coming in or maybe those of you that are watching later on. Um, uh, if you like it, let me know. I appreciate it. So, and, uh, and gang, you know, you're watching the live If up in that corner, you see the red rectangle. Otherwise you're watching the replay or over on YouTube. So thanks so much. I appreciate y'all and, uh, I'll catch up with you next Monday. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>